Hi guys, we didn't see each other for a while, uh, but we're back. Uh, today the video is going to be uh, interesting because it's going to be about hardware. And as you know, it's good to update the hardware in our great hobby from time to time, not to get stagnant. And uh, you know me very well that I like to change my setups in planes and uh, engines, motors and batteries. But I completely forgot about upgrading my radio control hardware, meaning the radios and the RF systems. And uh, the situation kind of forced me to do it because uh, we were flying quite a lot on our airfield, which is located in big city, surrounded by buildings. And lately we have more and more uh, warnings from the radio about the weak RF system, about weak uh, radio control system. So I was I started to think what to do to improve the connection between the plane and the, and the pilot because of course we don't want to lose the plane and we don't want to harm anyone. And I started investigating. I was, as you know, flying on the FR Sky uh, Horus X10 Express, which, was a, which is a great radio. And I must say which was a great radio because I already sold it and I have different radios here. Uh, and I think I pushed the limit on this radio and uh, and I was getting more and more uh, warnings from, from the radio that I have a weak signal, so I was getting afraid. And I decided to pull the trigger and uh, buy a different radio, buy a different system to see if it's, gonna, if it's going to be better. And uh, as I like very much the FR Sky, I went for the very exciting new product, which is uh, FR Sky Twin X Lite. Uh, I set it up with Avanti and uh, I must tell you that uh, I loved it. It was so nice and the main difference in this radio comparing to the Horus X10 is that it fits to my hands so great and if I'm flying thumbs, so I'm a thumber and it's just marvelous. Every switch is within the reach and it's super super comfortable uh, I don't know if you're, if you're a pincher, if you're able to use this radio. I have no idea because I'm not a pincher. But for a tamer, this radio is just great. It's wonderful. So I flew this radio for a while. And then I decided that I will put to my Avanti one more improvement, which is the flight controller. This one is actually a very interesting flight controller. It's a brand new flight controller from SpeedyB uh, F405. It's very inexpensive and loaded with features. Uh, and the most important thing with flight controller is that when you lose your plane from sight or when you lose the uh, RF signal, you just flip the switch or it happens automatically. The plane levels and it comes back over your head. Uh, so it's very safe. So this was the upgrade that I was, was thinking to put to my plane to, be, to, to feel safer in this you know, changing RF environment. But then, when I was investigating further, I noticed that there is a lot of push in the internet for this radio, which is the Radio Master TX16, TX16S. So everybody is praising this radio. They, they just love it. it. So many pilots use this radio. And I decided, why not? Okay, I will try it, I'll buy it. Uh, this radio actually is flying on different the RF system. This is Express LRS, which is a new way of communicating with your, with your aircraft. It's uh, long range, so it's good for tens of kilometers. It's really nice. But I flew this radio a few times, but I noticed that actually Holding this radio is as comfortable as holding the uh, FR Sky Horus X10. It's just a brick. It's really hard. It's not comfortable to hold. I'm a tamer, as you know. When I'm, when I'm flying, I have to really look for the switches because they're not placed in really convenient way. So, after a few, maybe two weeks of flying, I decided that I don't like it so much because of the ergonomics. It's not that great. And I went back again to FR Sky Twin X Lite. And I must tell you, going back to this radio is a bliss. It's wonderful. It fits 
to the hand so nice. Of course, the, the, uh, the touch screen is also very nice, like in this radio, it's colorful and so on. And I just love it. And I decided that I will stick with this radio. And I was thinking for a while about Radio Master Zorro, which looks quite similar to this, but Radio Master Zorro, it feels cheaper in hands. And of course the LCD is, uh, is monochrome and it's not touch LCD, so it's, it, it feels way worse. But this FR Sky radio is lovely. And what is nice about this radio is that it has uh, four protocols inside built in. So you can, I can fly on old FR Sky receivers. I can fly on the latest uh, Archer FR Sky receivers. I can fly also on the, the latest, latest protocol from FR Sky, the Twin, which is good for tens of kilometers. It's really long range protocol which I really like. And also it's compatible with Express LRS, which I use also, and it works great. So I love this radio and I, I wanted to record a video about these changes in my, <laughs> my fleet because there is a lot of misinformation in the internet. And you know, if a lot of guys are using, using some radio, it doesn't mean that this radio is actually very good. Uh, I think that this radio, this Radio Master Take 16 is so popular for only one reason, because it's very cheap. And not necessarily a cheap radio is a good radio for you, because you need a radio. I think I need a radio that is really nice to hold and that you're feeling really safe while flying. So all the controls are within reach and you're controlling your model with uh, confidence. And with this radio, when I'm flying, I have to look for the switches. I have to find them. It's, it, it takes time to get used to it. And on contrary, this radio is unbelievably well designed regarding ergonomics. It feels like it's completely integrated with your body. And I don't have to think about what I'm doing. I just do it. Even though the, the first time I flew it, I felt it right away. It feels so nice. It feels so good in the hand. And of course, of course it's smaller and uh, it's lighter. Uh, so it's more convenient to, to travel with. And I must say the battery holds very long. Like on the contrary, the Radio, Radio Master Zorro, the battery holds for four flights and that's it. So you have to have spare batteries. And this one uh, flying hard, it. Uh, it lasts for a week at least, so great product. Okay, all right, uh, I think we, we talked enough. Uh, for now, Avanti is not equipped with the flight controller yet, but in the future videos, I will show you how I do it and I will uh, present how it flies autonomously because the idea is in the future to put the camera and the HD transmission system and to fly Avanti somewhere between the clouds with goggles or with the screen. So this is going to be in the future. And for now we fly on the new uh, Sky Twin X Lite. Okay, it's enough talking, let's fly. So we are flying with uh, Sky Twin X Lite <laughs> with stabilization receiver, pre-flight check, let's fly. Okay, taking off. So we are flying on ETHOS operating system. This is Sky operating system in this radio. And I must say it's quite nice. It's very intuitive. It's of course uh, for touch screen, so it's easy to work. Oh, 
on the Horus X10 I was flying on OpenPX which is also great and on Radio Master I was flying on HPX which is quite similar. All these three systems are very similar to each other. I think the hardware is the most, the biggest difference. And definitely FR Sky is very solid with hardware and has a lot of receivers and a lot of gear to play with. Radio Master is, is far behind. We're going full throttle because as last time we're flying 6S single Leon battery. 46 amps. 46 amps. It's a beautiful day. This Avanti is such a pleasure to fly. set up a timer because I for a while I was not using a sensor but now I have a pump sensor that is measuring the usage of the battery so we have both. 50, land because we are flying on a battery that is four and a half thousand we use three so Gear down. so it's one and a half left just to be safe Five point two volts five point two volts five point two volts flaps half flaps full So guys, this is it. One flight is enough because this video was not about flying, it was about hardware. Uh, playing with hardware with radios and I must tell you, flying with this radio is just wonderful. It's so nice. All this, there's a lot of switches and buttons, but all of them are very close, very just in reach it's perfect so i love this radio i keep it i sell the radio master uh, i love it and of course i will uh, expand the hardware inside avanti to to put in the flight controller and camera and screen or goggles so maybe sometime in the future we'll be flying between the clouds okay thank you so much and i hope to see you next time
Flaps half, flaps full. 